The highly anticipated summit between South Korea, Japan and China will take place on Monday. Amid tensions arising from regional issues, the three sides are likely to try to push for cooperation rather than discuss sensitive issues. This includes the possible revival of discussions on forming a three-way free trade deal. Our top office correspondent Oh Soo-young talked to some experts. South Korea, Japan and China will focus on cooperation, not contentious security issues, at their long stall trilateral summit on Monday. Experts told Arirang News that the meeting comes as the three Northeast Asian neighbors seek to reduce geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific region, along with trade and economic uncertainties. Seoul's top office said Thursday that President Yoon suk Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Chinese Premier Li Chang would discuss six main areas of cooperation, including people-to-people -people exchanges and trade, which would be reflected in their joint statement. While the three nations would discuss regional affairs and complex global crises, Seoul made it clear that sensitive security issues would not be the focus of the talks. The uh, focus uh, would be promotion of a uh, mutual understanding and the pragmatic uh, mutual interest as opposed to, you know, strategic competition and opposition. And this is a very uncertain time for all three countries. Uh, the political leadership in Seoul and Tokyo are suffering from, you know, um, early coming of the lame duck syndrome with a very low popularity ratings. And China is very conscious of ongoing strategic competition with the United States, as well as the inauguration of new president in Taiwan. So the mutual interest would be cultivation of pragmatic interest and stability in the region. While bilateral sticking points and geopolitical tensions will not be resolved easily, experts say they could be managed by focusing on functional issues. In today's kind of complex world, the very, very complicated world, interdependence world, we need a, a, a sort of a, a very skillful balance uh, skill to balance different kind of issue uh, imperative. So we have to deal with this geopolitical challenge, deal with like North Korea issue, Taiwan issue, U.S. pressures, but at the same time we have to deal with this. Uh, the issue of the ground, the inter integration of the economy the, and the like health issue, uh, climate issue. Yun's Deputy National Security Advisor Kim Tae-yo said the three leaders will revive and normalize their trilateral cooperation system. Observers say this could potentially restart discussions to forge a three-way free trade agreement. So we may see some potential uh, progress towards uh, reopening uh, talks for a uh, trilateral free trade agreement, uh, if only because uh, China has uh, some incentive to go ahead with this, since the problems of the uh, Chinese economy, the, its slowing growth, its uh, uh, property debt bubble crisis, uh, that gives um, the Chinese government uh, some incentive to try and possibly get some economic benefits out of a free trade agreement. And uh, also concerns about cost of living and ongoing economic stagnation uh, in both Japan and South Korea also could give some impetus to a free trade agreement uh, negotiations possibly going ahead. But The three Northeast Asian countries make up around 23.4% of the world's gross domestic product. Yoon Kishida and Lee will meet with around 80 business leaders in a welcoming banquet and hold a separate business summit after their trilateral meeting. Oh Arirang News.